All right, so today we're going to be installing these uh, these bull ring devices on the back of a 2018 F-150. Um, they come two in a box. They're from Amazon. Uh, they run 30 bucks, 29.99 with free shipping. You have two screws, which go through these brass little fittings on the bottom, and uh, these hold up to a thousand pounds um, each. Yeah, if you want to strap something down. Um, throughout the back of your vehicle. So they go in these little slots. I've already installed that one over there. Um, so what you're first gonna do is if you have a bed rail, um, bed cover, you're gonna loosen that up, move it out of the way, take off your plastic piece. And to remove this, you just put a flat tip on there and just pull it out. Um, and then uh, this is the second um, time shooting this video because when I first did this, I kept both screws in here and then you gotta finagle this baby down in there like that but it didn't it didn't go in quite right so i was like well can i back the screws completely out and you can because if you look at the bottom here the bull the bull ring actually holds on to the bottom of this um, nylon or plastic piece so you can take them out you got full tilt and uh, movement on it um, another thing to realize is you see one side says bull ring and let's this where am I this side right here is a little bit thicker than this side so when you install this you take the screws out um, and you're gonna have to do it from the they got it stuck again This is why I didn't take the screws out. There we go. All right. So you gotta do from the um, outside of the truck bed first. Okay. And it seems like it fits right. However, when you pull this up, see if it focuses here. Right here, when you're pulling this up to grab the um, the other side this one actually worked you can see the, the um, you see the screw holes there so this one actually fit right on this side which is the passenger side I actually had to flip it around the other way so the bull ring is facing the front of the cab where there's nothing on the back so I'm going to go back over here again and see if I have to flip it around because I like them both being the exact same. Now this one, when I pulled it up, I can see the, the threads. The other side, when I pulled it up, it was hitting something on the forward or back portion of the mechanism. It wasn't working. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know what, before I do that, because this one's going to fit right. There's the threads. This one's, this one's going to fit right. So let me go over here and see if I can flip this one around real quick. And to flip it around, sorry for the noise. Um, we're just going to take these screws off. Try to preset my videos up so you don't see the complete installation because you know, a lot of these steps are pretty straightforward. Um, this one took me some trial and error just to try to get it right. Uh, I didn't realize I could um, take out these screws completely. And they've got little lock washers on the bottom of them. So we'll take these two out. Alright guys, so I was able to flip this one around, um, but you see where this doesn't fully come up, and even though the threads are there, they're still not com they're still not completely right. This thing should come up a little bit higher than this. So, um, if you can see both threads, the one on the outside is a little bit better than the one on the inside. 
So this one does fit both ways. Um, I'm gonna try to finagle this and hold this up because I just had it right, but when I turned the camera back, it obviously messed up. So uh, let me try to pull this up and get this screwed in. All right, so if you wanna look in here, I don't know if it's gonna actually show up. There you go. So you see the, the top right here? So there's, there's two little weld marks. They're only on the driver's side. So on the passenger side, there's actually one that comes out right here. So that's why on the passenger side, this label, it really doesn't matter which way it goes. It's all aesthetics. And you know, I'm, I'm probably being a little pain in the butt here worrying about it, but see how it doesn't come up that high. Um, the other side comes up significantly higher. Um, so, I mean, yes, you got, you've got room here for it. Um, this side has a little nipple. You know, if I was to flip both of these the opposite way, um, they both, they both would be fine. Um, go back over here and show you again. After doing this a couple times, it's really easy. So it pops down. So it's, it looks like it's a, a couple mils higher. Um, is that really going to bother me? No. I'm going to leave them both for aesthetics um, in this direction. So, I'll just add our screws in here. Got a screwdriver. And uh, they have to do this two handed. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up on this while I'm screwing these two down. Here you go. So, now you've got these. So I'll put my bed rail back in place. Um, again, I did this because I had a factory cover on this side. However, on this side, um, I didn't have a cover. So when this rail was over here, water was getting down here, draining into the bed liner um, and making my items in the, the bed a little bit damp. Um, so this at least covers it up. There is no rubber seal around it. Um, if you want to put a rubber seal on it, uh, you can do that. If this does leak, I probably will take this back off and put a little bit of um, uh, foam or um, peel and stick sealant around it just to, just to cover it up. But I don't plan on having this, um, this tonneau cover on here forever. Um, definitely if I'm going away and I don't need it um, and I need to start tying stuff down, I can take these three little clamps off the side there's one screw there one screw over in that corner and this thing just pops off in a matter of seconds i got a bag behind the seat where this all just slides right in the bag and then i can actually store it in the back of the truck or behind the seat or whatever um there you go um they're both they're going here seem like they come up high enough that i can put a clamp around it and there you go that is the bull ring uh, tie down system for the back of the 2015 plus F-150s and F-250s.